The crypto markets have gotten absolutely decimated over the past six months. We've seen the price of Bitcoin fall over 60%, while other cryptos have gone down 80, 90% plus. And a lot of people are wondering like, hey, are we going into another crypto winter like 2018, 2019? You know, it's really scary out there. It's not just the crypto markets. Stock markets have done horribly this year. We've seen massive layoffs from big tech companies, and there's lots of fears of a recession in the broader economy. And so a lot of people are wondering like, hey, what does this mean for developers who are trying to break into the Web 3.0? space or developers who are already working, like what's the opportunity like? Has it completely changed? Are your jobs safe? Well, I want to make this video as a blockchain developer myself, you know, who got into this space in 2017, right before the bubble popped and went through the 2018, 2019 crypto winter to talk about my experience then and what I think is happening now and how to navigate this time so that you're not just surviving, but also thriving and really positioning yourself for the next wave that's going to come in the future. Because I believe there's a ton of opportunity for people who play their cards right right now and so you definitely want to check out this whole video so if you're new around here hey i'm gregory and on this channel i turn you into a blockchain master so if that's something that you're interested in then smash that like button down below for the youtube algorithm and subscribe to this channel and if you want to know how to master blockchain step-by-step start to finish then head on over to adaptuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today all right, so let's jump into this. Let's talk about what's going to happen for Web 3.0 developers now that cryptocurrency has just been absolutely tanking over the past several months. We've seen, you know, broader fears in the economy of recession, all that type of stuff. So I want to make this video and weigh on this because I've had a lot of people wonder about it. And I understand it's a really scary time. Because again, I went through the 2018, 2019 crypto winter. I did the exact opposite of what most rational people would have done during that time. And I want to tell you a little bit about that story and how it paid off. And so I actually just pulled this tweet that I thought on my Twitter the other day, where I was actually looking back through old tweets, you know, from early 2018, right after the last major crypto bubble popped, just to see like what it was like back then, just to kind of refresh my memory. And I came across this tweet where I crossed 1,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. And at the time I recorded this video, you know, it's, it's grown to over 500,000 subscribers. So I was just thinking about how far I've come in that amount of time, thanks to you all. And I put this tweet out here saying, basically, you know, great things can come from bear markets. So you know, what's the lesson that can be gained here? Well, first of all, you know, right now is a great time to be heads down, laser focused on the technology. You know, I always say that like the best way to make a life changing result in crypto is to double down on your technical skills and land a job in Web 3.0. And that building while the space is quiet has huge upside potential. Because imagine if you could focus right now and 500x whatever result you have in just a few years. And I do think that there's a ton of opportunity coming down the pike and right now. So it's really important that you not just get shaken out of the game while things are scary. So let me talk a little bit more about my experience from 2018, 2019 to address some of the you know concerns that are in the room right now. Like, are your jobs safe? What's the opportunity like? So first of all, let's talk about the concern for developer jobs. Like, you know, are, the, are, are Web 3.0 jobs just going away? Has demand completely evaporated now that crypto prices are down? There's like broader fears of recession in the economy. All right, so the short answer is no. All right, now the long answer is we might see some layoffs or some projects that were, you know, really speculative go under. And if you're working on one of these projects, then you're probably going to see signs of this way before it happens. But even if you don't, like there's still going to be an insane amount of demand for blockchain developers, because I'm telling you, this space is 100% different than it was in 2018 and 2019. Back then, like we had technology, but we weren't 100% sure about what we were going to do with it now. We have way more use cases for crypto web 3.0. And I think that the big paradigm shift is back then there's a lot of fear about like, hey, is crypto even going to be a thing in the future? And so the market's just dumped and people lost conviction. But I think the real thing now is people people realize that, hey, this space is really headed somewhere and I'm just going to wait for things to recover before I get back in. And so for that reason, we still have a ton of smart money pouring into the space that are trying to build the next generation of web 3.0 applications. And they all need blockchain developers to build that stuff right now. You don't have to wait for future events to happen before you can take advantage of that opportunity. So if you've been thinking about getting the Web 3.0 space, now is still a really good time to do it. And so that's in the crypto space, but let's also talk about the broader economy. You know, some people are worried about a recession happening really globally. What's going to happen to developer jobs if we do that? You know, we've seen big layoffs from tech companies, okay? So there's a couple of things to understand here. A lot of the big layoffs we've seen in big tech recently have had uh, or excuse me, have been from companies who really overhired sort of at the top. They had too much staff. And, you know, now all these publicly traded companies are looking at like price to earnings ratios, and they really care about earnings. And they realize that growth is going to slow. So they basically have to just get rid of their excess. But that doesn't mean that there's not a ton of demand for developers still at those companies. And the ones that got laid off can go find 
you know, jobs at the other places where there's still a ton of high demand. And the same will be true for crypto. We might see some of these big layoffs, but there's still going to be a ton of demand across the entire ecosystem for Web3 developers, even if we go into something like a recession, okay? Because I was just talking about somebody the other day who worked through the entire dot-com bubble as a developer. It was the same type of situation where you have people like freaking out, but there was still a ton of demand for developers in the space. Now, I'll also be clear, I don't think what we're going through right now is anything remotely like the dot-com bubble. Again, I'm no macro econ expert, but I just don't think we have the same structural concerns as we did during the dot-com bubble or the 2008 you know, financial crisis or the Great Depression or anything like that. There's definitely some pain happening right now, but I just don't think it's as large a scale as people think it is. All right, so that's my answer to some of the comments and concerns that I think are floating around right now. Again, I understand this is a really scary time, especially people who just got into crypto maybe in the past year or so. So I want to go through all that. But now I want to talk about how to not only survive, but also thrive in crypto because... You know, I really think we're going through a quiet time with the space, but that we are going to see another wave of adoption where things start to get crazy again. You know, there's the Lenin quote of how, you know, there's decades where nothing happens when you're talking about history and then weeks where a decade happens. And crypto is kind of the same way, but compressed. All right, you're going to go through these periods where there's not a whole lot of new stuff that comes out. But then a bunch of new stuff will come out really fast. And then you're going to get all these early adopters come in to use it. And then that's going to form these concentric circles of adoption and hype that eventually end up bringing a lot more people in the space to where things get frothy again. And we see this play out over and over again. We've already got the seeds for some of this stuff being planted now. It's a lot like what we saw in 2018. So, of course, make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, watch all the videos that I put out. Because I'm going to be talking about this stuff on a regular basis as I see it coming out. And so how can you take advantage of this? So, first of all, you want to be in position for that wave whenever it comes out. So like like right now, definitely be paying attention to the space. If you're a developer already and you're working with 3.0, just stay the course, right? You don't have to freak out. If your goal is to try to break in and get a web 3.0 developer job, definitely continue on that track. I don't see anything that's happened in the past you know, six months that should change your goals for any of that stuff. So that's how you can take advantage of the opportunity now. But how can you position yourself further for the next wave that's coming? So first of all, one good way is to really get plugged into the technology itself. And this has a lot of uh, benefits. So, you know, number one is actually just become a user of the blockchain because, you know, right now we're seeing a lot of airdrops happen in this space, especially on like layer two scaling solutions for Ethereum and other projects that are, you know, forming communities. And so actually going in and using this technology and positioning yourself for potential airdrops can be a great way to, you know, get free crypto during this time just by being an early adopter of new technology. And I've been putting out lots of videos on my channel about this topic that's going to show you how to use specific chains and dApps that could increase the likelihood that you'll be a recipient of this. Again, I've been a multi-time airdrop recipient many times getting like $10,000 or more just for using an application. So now is a great time to do that, especially because gas fees are cheap on these networks now that crypto prices are down and also network activities down. And so this also has an additional benefit of building a strong understanding of the space. So again, right now is a perfect time to double down your skills while the space is quiet. And what you can do is actually go in and use the technology to understand like if there's stuff about DeFi you didn't understand before, now is a great time to do it. If there's things about NFTs you didn't understand before, now is a good time to do it. Like if you never bought an NFT before, now is a good time to do it because everything's so quiet and cheaper to use. And this is going to help you develop a much stronger expertise in this space. That's exactly what I did during 2000, 2018, 2019, even into 2020. And by the time all this attention came back into this space, I was years ahead of everybody else who was just like, you know, a newcomer. And if you can do the exact same thing, like you're going to be in an insane position because at the end of the day, like... Even if you're really smart, you can only learn so fast. And so if you learn at an average pace, then you're going to have all that time to accumulate this knowledge even before really smart people come into the space who have to go overcome that same learning curve that you spent all that time getting over. And so another little benefit about this time is while the space is quiet, this is a great time to connect with other people and actually build out your network. So here's why. Uh, whenever the space is going up like crazy in these big bull markets, you know, there's going to be a lot of people who are just sort of fair weather participants in crypto. They're just here chasing the gains. I'm not saying it's bad to get in crypto to make money, right? But there's a lot of people who don't care about the long term, you know, success, the technology. They don't care about, you know, getting their hands dirty with the code itself, or they're just going to get shaken out when things get kind of tough and scary. And so the quality of uh, participant that you're going to be able to talk to in the crypto space while it's down, you know, while Bitcoin's down over 60% from its all time high. The quality of connection that you can make with those types of people is going to be way higher than when you know Bitcoin is trading at its all-time high. Everybody has attention on crypto 
Because, you know, from both directions, you're, you're going to realize that e- each person that you're talking to, whether it's you with them and them to you, that you mutually have a very long-term view uh, of this space and have long-term ambitions. And you're going to be more on the same page. And those relationships can be highly beneficial over the long term, just so you can help one another out. Maybe there's a potential uh, for a, a job lead down the road or to work on a project together. These times really separate the people are here for the long term. And now's a great time to start building those relationships. All right. And so the last big thing you could do right now is definitely use this time to build out your portfolio. Okay. Whether you're a developer already, or you're just trying to break into the space. Again, if you're just starting to code from scratch, you know, how do you get a job without, you know, experience? Well, you get that experience outside the workplace and you do that by building a project on your own in an unguided way and then putting that into a portfolio so that other people can see that you know what you're doing, okay? So now is a great time to do that. It's gonna be a lot easier to focus on that task and get everything together so that you can start coding out those projects and then put them into a website where other people can actually use it uh, and see who you are, okay? and actually start even potentially getting users for your portfolio application. That's one cool thing about portfolio is if it's a real world app, then you could get other people to actually use it. And what better time uh, when people are, you know, in the space trying to look for new opportunities while the space is quiet. All right, so that's my thoughts on the current state of the Web 3.0 space. Again, you know, crypto has been down for pretty much the last six months or so. A lot of people are worried about the state of Web 3.0 developer jobs. Again, I don't really think there's any big picture concerns here for people who are already developers in Web 3.0 space or people who want to get into the industry. I don't think anybody's goal should fundamentally change. And if you're here in crypto watching this right now, it's the perfect time to double down on your skills and position yourself for the next wave that's coming, okay? There's lots of opportunity right now for developers. Again, that's one of the best ways to change your life in crypto is to get a Web 3.0 job because you can still have a lot of opportunity the market's down like this. And you can also get ahead for that next big wave that is ultimately coming. So if you want to do that, then how can you get started today? Of course, smash the like button down below, subscribe to this channel, turn on notifications. We're going to be talking about all the amazing stuff that's coming on the pike before it gets popular. Okay, that's I mean, that's one of the beauties of these bear markets is you can find out about this stuff way before the people do. Uh, you know, definitely start working on your coding skills. Go to my YouTube homepage, find those free courses there. They're like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. And if you like those and you want to take the next step or, hey, maybe you want to take a massive shortcut entirely, I can show you become a blockchain master step-by-step start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You'd have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real-world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. And until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.